Once it is separated from its Soyuz launcher, Sentinel-1 will unfold its 10-meter-long solar wings and its radar in a carefully designed choreography. This has already been tested on the ground and is key to the success of the mission. Thanks to its radar instrument, Sentinel-1 will be able to see through clouds and rain during day and night. It illuminates the scene that it's about to acquire meaning it sends out radar waves, it collects the reflections back at the satellite, and using those reflections, it maps out uh, what is happening, what are the structures uh, on the surface. This information will be used both for emergency responses in the event of floods and earthquakes, as well as marine and land monitoring, civil security and climate studies. These radar images will allow scientists to detect tiny changes in volcanic activity help the captain of an icebreaker find the safest route and allow a better management of shipping routes worldwide. About 90% of the worldwide uh, good traffic goes by ship and we don't have at present a global monitoring system to monitor uh, tr ship traffic. With the launch of Sentinel-1A we will start to build such an operational system. After a year, Sentinel-1A will be joined by its brother, Sentinel-1B, mapping the entire world at unprecedented speed and resolution, collecting between 250 and 400 kilometers of information in one single pass. The Sentinels won't be the first satellites to look at Earth, but they'll be the first ones to do so continuously as an operational tool within the Copernicus program. Copernicus is all about providing a um, operational service. It is not on, only to provide the data of high quality as we've been doing in the past years, but also to do it timely and easy to access to the users. Once the first pair of Sentinels are up and running, a second duo is scheduled for launch in 2015. In total, the European Space Agency is building six families of Sentinel missions, co-financed by the European Commission for the Copernicus program each to deal with a different area, but all providing valuable information to help understand the health of our planet.